guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna go ahead and uh do a little bit of review on the new uniform for Groot and then gamora so as you can see got my group to tier three his uh, physical attack is at 57,000. Defense are kind of low, but that's kind of the norm for a combat character. Uh, his HP is at 75,000. And going to the detail page, you see he has the Guardians of the Galaxy tag, and he still has the healing. All right, so his crit rate is at 73%, in which on his uh, fifth skill, he has a frenzy buff, so you can soft cap it. Um, his crit damage at 200, and North Defense is capped out, Dodge is capped out, and Cooldown is capped out. Again, uh, let's see. Alright, and here's your Uru's. I gave him a couple Dodge and then North Defense Uru. And he has a Mythic Physical Attack Uru. No Odin Blessings. Uh, his skills. Alright, we're gonna go to his two star pass. Well, yeah, tier two passive. Where he, uh, Increases basic damage dealt to boss types by 40% to all Guardians of the Galaxy allies. And he uh, has a 20% recovery of HP for one second on a 15 second cooldown when hit. So they could at least bump that up. It's still the same as all his other uniforms. So that's kind of kind of sad. If they're going to keep it at 20%. They could at least bump it up to 35 maybe. But that's going to, that'd be all right though. So uh, four star passive, he still has a revive leadership. Uh, Plaza combat with uh, 45 percent of physical defense and his skills. His tier three skill, as you can see, it has a 80 percent chance to penetrate, invincible, and increase all basic attack by 50 percent. His first skill has snare. Second skill is just a stun. Third skill, he has accumulation. Four skill, he has the frenzy buff, so he has a 45 35 frenzy buff on the four skill. Then the fifth skill, he has a 100% damage prop and a 20% heal. And he does have a snare, burn, paralysis, and another snare. So he has some ABX and an ABL uh, potential, maybe. But we do have Namor, uh, Moon Knight, Doc Ock, so. He really can't compete with those unless you have a well-built group. Uh, his typing is at rank 5. He has a stage 11 power rank Hulk. No artifacts. And his uniform is a mythic. Now, I did a video yesterday, but it did not download for some reason. So, and I had a 200% proc with a recovery rate and dodge on it. And he could do stage 29 of Mephisto. And stage 24, no. And then I swapped him over to a CTP. And he did a lot quicker, so I'm going to show you the CTP that I put on him. But he can work with a damage proc. So I gave him a mighty CTP of destruction with the strike proc uh, max to the 120. Uh, crit damage at 28.6%. And it's a 180 proc. And it does have guard break immunity. That's one thing that group does not have in his kit, guard break immunity. So uh, if you want to give him a, uh, a proc CTP, which uh, energy could work too, but if you don't want to keep getting knocked back or getting stunned, give him uh, a mighty CTP of destruction. So we're going to check out the skill reviews and then we're going to go to Gamora. First skill, he slashes with his cheap tree branch. Second skill, he drops the elbow. Then he shoots uh, spikes of trees out from the bottom. And you can see that. And the third skill, where he hits down on the ground, gets the accumulation, and just starts wailing on you. <clears throat> the fourth skill, him and uh, Star Lord are shooting the element guns, which is pretty dope. And then the fifth skill, he grows wings out the back while he's stomping. And then he flies in the air and drops down. So that's pretty dope. So And the tier three, I am Groot. He's walking through the forest. I am Groot, and then the trees fall. That's pretty dope. That's pretty sick. So, But uh, I will have some more content with Groot going back into World Balls. So... 
All right, now we're finna get into uh, Gamora. All right. Now, with Gamora, uh, her physical attack is at 49,000. Um, HP at 75. Then all her stats are capped out. And she has a Guardians of the Galaxy tag. She still has a Weapon Master and the Agility tag. So, you can take her into uh, a little bit more World Boss Legend than Groot. In which, you can use Groot too because he's an alien. So, there are alien stages. And then there is a healing stage for World Boss Legend that I haven't unlocked yet. So, alright. So, as you can see, uh, physical attack, HP crit damage and crit rate Uru on her. Her skills, her two star passive, she still has the uh, <clears throat> the passive for increased basic damage to superheroes and supervillains by 45%. Uh, skill damage, bonus damage. Uh, her four star passive applies to enemies and is silence. So that's kind of eh. Uh, her leadership, she's or uh, it went up by five percent. Uh, applied to speed type, sixty percent increase of physical attack and all speed. Now her um, her skills, her first skill, just a, a regular attack. She has paralysis on her second. She has stunning paralysis on her third, with a hundred percent chance to penetrate with accumulation. Her fourth fourth skill has a sixty percent chance to penetrate with the increase of all basic attack by 35% and damage immunity and the fifth skill has invincible and the frenzy buff 40-40 uh, and she has a prop of 70% uh, her ranking is at rank 5 she has a stage 11 power rank hulk also and you do well you should have the free artifact that they did for the uh, collector vault so everybody should have the uh, Gamora artifact and <clears throat> it's like a uh, alliance battle uh, ABX uh, artifact and I still have my CTP of Rage on her when I was using her with the uh, Requiem uniform alright so we're going to go to the skills I'm going to check them out real quick <clears throat> Alright, the first skill, she just throws her sword and then she's slashing. Okay, second skill, a little dash. Third skill, okay, not bad. Fourth skill, she throws grenades out. She does a lot of slashing. Okay, and the fifth skill, it's just like her uh, Requiem uniform but different colors. So, her uh, skill rotation would be like three delay cancel, four delay cancel, five, because you want to wait until she uh, jumps in there, slams down, throw the grenade, and then hit the five, and then probably like for her uh, awakening skill, you want to do six, three delay, four delay, five. So yeah, she. A CTP of uh, Rage will be will still be best for her. So, <clears throat> like I said, uh, I'm going to uh, make some more content on these guys to see how uh, good this uniform is. But I know Groot is really good because, like I said, I made a video <clears throat> about him yesterday, but it never uploaded. So, <clears throat> but that's coming. So... Alright guys, y'all hit me down in the comment box down below. Let me know what y'all guys think right now with the uniforms. <clears throat> Make sure y'all smash that like button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.